Last October, she was shot in the head for daring to go to school. Today, Malala Yousafzai delivered her response, not to the Taliban who wanted her dead, but to the rest of the world. Her impassioned challenge, lay down the weapons and arm girls with pens and the ability to use them. The CBC's Aaron Saltzman has the details. Happy 16th birthday, Malala. And what a sweet 16 this is. Today is the day of every woman, every boy, and every girl who have raised their voice for their rights. As an 11-year-old, the Taliban bombed schools and shot teachers where she lived in northern Pakistan. Malala defiantly fought for her right to an education. I want to get my education and I want to become, become a doctor. And became a target. Last October, a Taliban gunman boarded her school bus and shot her in the head. Airlifted to hospital in England, the world watched and held its breath as she somehow survived and slowly fought her way back to health. Now it's time to speak up. Today at the UN, wearing a shawl once worn by slain Pakistani Prime Minister Benazir Bhutto, she spoke in front of family and 500 young followers from around the world. One child... One teacher, one book, and one pen can change the world. Education is the only solution. This her first public appearance since the shooting, and still just as defiant. The thought that the bullet would silence us, but they failed. And out of that silence came... Thousands of voices. Two of those voices, both Canadian and both inspired. Milala said today that pens and paper and books are far better weapons and far more powerful than guns. And I think that is a powerful message. I can go back into Canada and maybe make programs or do workshops in my school and in my community to raise awareness about girls' education around the world. Senator Salma Atulajan is originally from the same part of Pakistan as Malala. She traveled to Malala's hospital in England and still keeps in touch. From her, a note of caution. I would like her to regain some of her childhood too. My biggest fear for her is that are we putting too much pressure on this young girl? And yet, you get the sense she can handle it. No one can stop us. Aaron Saltzman, CBC News, Toronto. Malala's inspiring speech coincided with a new report on global education. It points out just how vulnerable school-aged children remain. Around the world, nearly 60 million children are out of school, half of them in conflict zones. 55% of those are girls. All the while, the world is paying less attention. Last year, 1.4% of humanitarian aid went to education, down from 2% the year before.